So let's now look at a monopoly making a subnormal profit. The first step, uh, once again, is that we have to pick up our average cost curve and um, place our average cost curve on the diagram. Now, that, remember that the key thing is the average cost curve must cut that marginal cost curve at its minimum point. So hopefully I've just I've pretty much got that on its minimum down there. And you should be able to explain why. Most of you will know that now. Um, the second step is, of course, to identify our profit maximizing level of output, which, as we know, is the cutting is where marginal cost and marginal revenue are the same, so where they where they cross over. And remember, we run our we run our our dotted line straight up through there and straight up to our demand curve. Now. Um, and we label that, of course. We label that as Qmax. Now, what can we identify from that situation? Well, what we know is that at that point, our price that we're going to receive as a monopoly is, is there, where the where the um, the quantity meets the demand curve. That's just that's old news. We've we've been doing that for uh, for a couple of years now, two or three years now. So that's not hard to understand. So that's where our price is going to be. But you will notice that our cost now, our, our average cost curve, or the point on the average cost curve that coincides with that vertical line up through there, is going to be higher than the price. So let's just see if we can identify that. It looks about there. I think you'd agree. Now, so clearly, and let's label that actually before we go on, let's label that correctly, and we've been labeling that as CE. So that's our cost. So you can see, and once again, we know, don't we, that um, profit is represented by total revenue, take away total costs. Well, in this case, it looks like PE multiplied by Q max, which is the total revenue, take away. Uh, CE multiplied by Q max, which is the total cost, looks like in this case that total costs are bigger than total revenue. So in fact, we're going to be um, we're going to be earning what we would normally call a loss. But in economics, we describe this as a subnormal profit, and the area of subnormal profit is that area right there. And that is how you draw a subnormal profit. Okay.